1964. The average weekly wage in the UK is a whopping £16. And can you guess which of Queen Elizabeth II's children was born? Yeah? Check your answer at the end of this video. Also in 1964, management thinkers Robert Blake and Jane Mouton created their leadership grid, sometimes known as the management, sorry, the managerial grid. Five different leadership styles were compared by plotting them on a two-dimensional scale. One dimension is concerned with people. A manager who has high levels of concern with people will be very focused on ensuring staff like their jobs and are happy at work. There will also be a big emphasis on career development opportunities. The second dimension is concern for production. A manager with high production concerns fully recognises the need for operational targets and keeping costs down. The five leadership styles move from low concern with people and production through to high concern with both of these dimensions. The styles can be summarised in this way. One, country club leadership. This sort of leader believes that as long as team members are content, they'll be motivated to work hard. Country club leaders like to create a relaxing and appealing place to work. However, the country club leader does not focus, focus enough on getting the job done. Produce or perish leadership. This kind of leader sees employees as first and foremost a means of achieving corporate objectives. Produce or perish leaders believe that people are mostly motivated by money. They focus on efficiency and productivity and don't spend much time thinking about motivating staff. Impoverished leadership. Impoverished leaders are ineffective. They pay little attention to either the needs of employees or operational efficiency. The workplace is chaotic and the workforce are demotivated. Middle of the road leadership. This style compromises between people and production. The difficulty here is that the leader is probably settling for an average performance. Not really good enough. Team leadership. Production and people are given equal priority. This leader encourages people to feel that they can make a valuable contribution to achieving objectives. Managers try to empower and motivate teams to achieve targets and also make sure employees are looked after. Blake and Mouton saw this as the ideal leadership style. To find out more, visit learnloads.com. By the way, Prince Edward was born in 1964. Bye.